Yeah, I'm going to begin just by asking about the, the tone of Rampage, because I mean, it's one of those films where the stakes are so high, but at the same time, you've always got to, there's lots of playful kind of inclinations for, for one-liners and moments that are going to have the audience kind of laughing. I was just wondering about ensuring that the, that tone was kind of captured and you can have those moments of light relief without compromising on the kind of, the, the severity of the situation, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's difficult, you know, ultimately. You're, you're, you're trying to do a lot with these types of movies. And what I wanted to do was give the audience a unique experience they hadn't seen in a while. I grew I was lucky. I grew up in the late 80s and up to the mid 90s as a teenager. And I was like, you know, I grew up on Return of the Jedi and Terminator 2 and Tremors and, you know, like Gremlins, like, you know. So for me, going to films was... The main thing is, is, was an escape, was an emotional experience where I could go to another world or experience like a larger than life kind of experience, but it was always fun. And I wanted this to be fun. I didn't want it to be too self-serious, you know? And I, and I understood this concept could be very ridiculous, but so what I, what I do as a filmmaker is I look for true north in my compass creatively at all times, and I have two very, very important compasses which is the theme, what, what the story is really about, and the emotion. What are the characters feeling? What should the audience be feeling? Um, so I, I look for those consistencies within scenes, and ultimately I trust the tone that's going to come when I have those two things as a consistent nature. Um, but yeah, the big thing was really just trying to give people you know, the, the full experience. Laugh, cry, you know, be scared, be excited. Um, and I have a movie star who can do all of it, so you want to give the audience the full experience of going to a big movie. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty great to have Dwayne in the lead. Again, if you worked with him a few times, he's one of those people that if he's in a movie, people want to go and see it. Yeah, <laughs> you know? well, he's a real-life movie star. Like, yeah. I mean, he looks like a superhero in real life, <laughs> and he does kind of everything, you know? He's, he's a passionate, very creative a movie star who's also an incredibly unique person. Like nobody looks like Dwayne and nobody has the skill set that Dwayne has, you know? He's the guy who can do a comedy, an action film, a family film. So it's amazing because when you team up with a guy like him, you know you're able to do something unique and fresh. And even though you obviously you mentioned the how kind of fun and entertaining the movie is, there is the kind of emotional core really, I think, is, is, is studying the, the bond that we have with, with animals, yeah. the kind of the, the bond that, that we share. And I was just wondering, I mean, it feels quite, an interesting time for this to, to be presented in a sense that at the moment, human beings seem to don't, aren't even accepting and, and, and liking people from other cultures, you know, right. but, at the, but at the moment, it's, 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 it's nice to share, to have a film where we're saying, how, how can we can share this bond and share this closeness with, with, a, with a different creature? And yet in real life, we're struggling to accept people if they come from a different country or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel really lucky. I mean, I grew up in Canada and um, acceptance of people was never a problem in, in the culture that I grew up in. It was, I mean, it was sort of matter of fact, you know, like I talked to my parents who live in Newfoundland still and, uh, you know, they help uh, Syrian families, you know, kind of come to Canada that are in need, you know, and I, I, I look at people as, you know, everybody comes from unique places. That's interesting to me. That's like a unique thing. I want to learn about the world we live in. I want to pay respect to the world we live in. And ultimately, you know, I'm a massive animal lover. I have three dogs and a cat and, you know, they're like my best friends in a lot of ways. And so for me, it wasn't a problem to kind of relate to this idea of like, you know, we should really respect the creatures in the world, you know, because like my animals are sort of like my kids, you know, and like i you know, I'm like Dwayne with George, like I would do anything to protect them. And, you know, ultimately the movie was like a fun, you know, it was it's meant to be like a fun, entertaining movie and the main themes are like trust and friendship. But anytime you get to do something that has a little bit of, of meaningful impact, I think it's your responsibility as a filmmaker to do that, to give a little bit of depth uh, when you can, especially if it doesn't take the audience out. And that's where you see themes of anti-animal poaching, um, irresponsibility versus responsibility to the world that we live in, to other people, but also to, to animals, you know? And I didn't want to be heavy handed with that stuff, but there are lines in the movie like when um, Naomi punches Claire and she says, we're feeding the monster to the gorilla. And it's saying that the, the real villains are these people. You know, they, they're the ones that use this technology irresponsibly. These are just animals. They're just hungry. They're rampaging because they're starving, basically. Um, so yeah, so I tried to layer that in as much as I could without taking you out of the experience. Just very, very quickly before I go, uh, San Andreas 2, 
is happening. I don't know the premise, but I'm assuming there's going to be an earthquake and it's going to be bigger than the last one. Is that? You know, uh, <laughs> that's what I, I'm hoping for. I don't, I don't, I don't know if we're going to do San Andreas too because it's the script development stage is the complex stage. This is what I can tell you. Whatever I do next, especially with Dwayne, will definitely be bigger, <laughs> crazier, and bring a new thing to the table than anything we've done before. Whether it's Rampage 2 or San Andreas 2 or something new, you know, that's kind of the biggest joy of working with a guy with Dwayne, or like Dwayne, sorry, is that we're always like, what can we give the audience that's new? How do you step it up? So, um, yeah, I, I keep saying to people, like, I've destroyed Chicago and San Francisco, so I feel like I either need to take out a continent or a planet next, yeah. you know? So, yeah. Cool, we'll leave Europe alone if that's all right. I'll do my best. <laughs> no promises. Yeah. Cheers, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!